I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Makar Kudash for giving me the spirit to do this video. This video is post Day of Atonement, and it's going into the spirit of understanding what the Day of Atonement is after the fact. Now, what do I mean by that? When you do the Day of Atonement, we know we fast, right? You fast and you pray. But what about between now and the next Day of Atonement? Okay? What about in between? You know how many days are in between that you could be fasting here and there? You know, you can't say you don't need to fast more than the Day of Atonement. That's supposed to be a day to set you up for the next days. To do what? To thank more. To be more sorrowful for your mistakes, for your sins. To ask for forgiveness. You don't just ask for forgiveness on the Day of Atonement. Okay? So, let's start at Luke chapter 5, verse 33. And they said unto him, Why do the disciples of John fast often? And make prayers, and likewise the disciples of the Pharisees. But thine eat and drink. Right, so he's talking to your house shy. Okay, because they were nitpicking on why come the disciples of Yahweh Shai were not fasting. And these are the words of Yahweh Shai. This is what he said. Verse 34. And he said unto them, Can you make the children of the bride chamber fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken away from them. Yahweh Shai, which he has been taken away. Okay, he's on the right hand side of the Father as we speak waiting to come down and then shall they fast in those days right so when he leaves when Yahweh Shai leaves we are supposed to be fasting until he comes man okay not just on the day of atonement but through your life in general man through your everyday life okay you may fast one day here you know a month may go by you may fast two days or whatever but you need to be fasting more than the day of atonement Think about it. It doesn't make sense if you're just fasting on that day. So we have to grow and understand that Yahweh Shah spoke these words. And if Yahweh Shah spoke these words, you can best believe that's what it means, man. In those days shall they fast. Okay? His disciples, the prophets. All right? From there, let's go to 2 Edges, chapter 14, starting at verse 14. Let go from thee mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. Right, man. It's of a weak nature to only fast on the devil told me. Okay? Because it's a high holy day. What about all those other days, man, that demons messing with you, man? Okay? Think about that, man. We go through a lot of things, man, throughout the year, man, in this walk, and this truth. It's a straight gate. So you're going to go through a lot of things. A lot of demons going to come in all kinds of ways, man. Slithery, nasty ways. Okay? Part of combating those demons and overcoming those demons is prayer and fasting. Okay? So if you're dealing with demons, say right now, the day of atonement already ended. This is post-atonement. Okay? You're going to wait all the way to the next atonement to fast? Man, think about that, man. You're going to be full of demons. Okay? Demons going to drag you all kinds of ways. Demons may drag you back into the world. Put it that way. So let's read 14 again. Let go from the mortal thoughts. Cast away the burdens of man. Put off now the weak nature. Okay? And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee. And haste thee to flee from these times. Right? Because these times are evil, man. Okay? And Jacob's trouble ain't hit yet. But it's about to hit. What you gonna do? Okay? You gotta get stronger and stronger, man. You got to shine brighter and brighter. All right. Verse 16. For yet greater evils than those which thou hast seen happen shall be done hereafter. Right. So all hell is coming, man. We got to be more in the mind frame of cutting the flesh off, man. Completely, man. A lot more than one time a year. Okay. From there, let's go to Matthew chapter 17. I'm going to start at verse 19. Now, I read this in my very last lesson I, I put up. But there's a point. In verse 21, but I'm going to read to verse 21 to eat it all. You know, might as well read the whole thing because I love this scripture. So let's start at Matthew chapter 17, start at verse 19. Then came the disciples to Yahweh's apart and said, why could not we cast him out? Talking about the demon 
that they went to go cast out and it didn't work. Okay? And Yahweh Shah said unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if you have faith as a grain of a mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place, and it shall remove, and nothing shall be impossible unto you. How be it, this kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. Meaning what? Demons that we deal with, man, can get handled by just praying and fasting and believing in how about you shy. Okay? Because when you pray and fast, you got to believe what you're praying for is going to happen. So it's going to take faith. Okay? But the point is in verse 21. Let's read it again. How be it this kind go not out but by prayer and fasting. So the demons you deal with in between the day of atonement, okay, this is a way to get rid of those damn sudry demons, man. Okay? Fasting. That's why Yahweh Shai said, in those days shall they fast. Because we're going to need it. Because we're in this flesh. You always talk about being in this uh, chains of darkness. Well, how are you going to beat these chains of darkness, man? To the point where you actually get mercy and get out of here, man. Okay? How are you going to maintain through these chains of darkness? You're going to have to fast a lot more than one time. Okay? Best believe it, man. And the more you grow in this thing, the more you're bound, the more experience, understand it, the more demons come at you that you got to come back. Those are the facts. Okay? So put off the weak nature. We all got to do better at that and putting off the weak nature. It ain't going to kill you to fast more. It's going to help you. Okay, from there, let's go to Joel chapter 2, starting at verse 12. Therefore also now says the Lord Yahweh, turn ye even to me with all your heart and with fasting and with weeping and with mourning. Right, man. Turn unto Yahweh with all your heart with fasting and weeping. Not just on the day of atonement. So as we return, because we were lost, the dry bones, we didn't know who we were. We were that old man every day. Now growing into this new man, we're returning. So you're supposed to return with fasting and weeping, man. Okay? Verse 13. And rend your heart and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord your God. For he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger, and of a great kindness, and repent of him of the evil. Who knoweth if he will return and repent and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink offering unto the Lord Yahweh? Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the people and sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and those that suck the breast. Let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests the ministers of the Lord weep between the porch and the altar and let them say, spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach that the heathen should rule over them. Wherefore should they say among the people, where is their God? Keep in mind where I started, returning with fasting and mourning, man. Okay. Verse 18. Then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity his people. Yeah, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil, and you shall be satisfied therewith. And I will no more make you reproach among the heathen. And that's what we're waiting for, man. Okay? But to get there, it is going to take more fasting, man. It's going to take more sacrifice, period, in general. Okay? But one of the things is fasting, man. I repeat Yahweh Shai's words. He said out of his mouth, In those days shall they fast. In those days. Okay? Verse 20, but I will remove far off from you the northern army and will drive him into a land burned and desolate with his face towards the east sea and his hinder part towards the uttermost sea and his stink shall come up and his ill savor shall come up because he have done great things. So is that not happening as we speak? Right. You have the army, the northern army, the U.S. army, all of the Middle East because the Lord has gathered them up for that great, great judgment. In the Middle East, all right? So we want everything to end so we can get our kingdom. Guess what? It's going to take more sacrifice from all of us, man. Okay? Fasting, more prayer, man. Okay? All the way to victory, to being joint heirs with your house shot. Is that what you want? Well, we got to do more work, man. So this is an exhortation, a post Dev Atonement video, man, for you to continue in the spirit, man, in the spirit of examination, in the spirit of repentance, 
in the spirit of growth, in the spirit of more discipline, okay, and please, in your high boss, you shine more on this earth so we can get out of here. You know what? One more scripture. We're going to end it on this. Galatians chapter 5, verse 16. This I say then, walk in the spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. What's more than walking in the spirit than cutting off your flesh, man, and doing it with belief in your high boss, you shine, man, as a believer? What's more spiritual than that, man? Okay? You're talking about 100% cutting off the flesh, man. Drinking no water, eating no food, and you just thinking in the spirit, man, to get better, man. So I want to end it on that. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahashah, Bahashem, Rakak, Kodash, for giving me the spirit to do this video. Double honors to the Elder Green Millstone. And Shalom to your Akhmer that is doing the truth and sincere. Shalom.